out. It is actually a really beautiful night considering that it is winter. Uh, we just really, really thank you. And this is the 30th anniversary of the Montreal Massacre. 14 women uh, murdered because they were women. And so we remember those women today. Uh, and we also will be commemorating and honoring the women who've also been killed the last year. And we will be talking about that more uh, when we have our service tonight. And so we really just want to thank you for coming. Thank you for supporting the work that we do as a shelter, but also the work that everyone here does as a community to continue the work of ending violence against women. The only way that we will solve this problem and make a difference is every member of the community coming together and using our voices. And so we hope that tonight will be a call to action for everyone who is here to figure out what is your call to action going to be? What role can you play to end violence against women? And so I thank you so much. And I'm going to hand it over to Keenan, who's going to say a few words and further introduction. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Keenan Nail and I'm the Ward 2 Councillor for the City of Barrie, uh, representing Mayor Jeff Lehman and the rest of the City Council, except Claire Ritma, Councillor for Ward 1, is here as well. Um, I would like to acknowledge that uh, we are gathered here today on the territory of the Anishinaabe people, um, which include the Odawa, the Ojibwe, and the Potawatomi Nations, collectively known as the Three Fires Confederacy. Um, and as a settler myself, I think it's, it's critical that we acknowledge the, the history of colonial violence that's happened on this land and also the ongoing presence of, of that violence as well. Um, and on this day in particular, I think it's important we acknowledge that gender-based violence uh, disproportionately affects uh, Indigenous women and girls uh, and two-spirit folk as well. Um, so I hope, like Teresa said, we can commit ourselves to, to action. Um, we need to get to the root causes of this violence, um, which is misogyny, but it's also uh, the, the lack of services and support for people who are struggling. Um, we need to invest in education and social services to make sure that everyone has a fighting chance uh, to, to have a life lived, lived in dignity. Um, so with that, uh, I will introduce uh, Chief Kimberly Greenwood uh, from the very place to say a few words. Thank you very much, everybody. It is an honor to be included in uh, this event of the, I'm not sure if we're raising the flag or lowering the flag to half, half mass. So we are raising yes, it to half mass. Yes, yes. Um, yes. So on behalf of the Barry Police Service, we have Staff Sergeant Gates here along with Inspector uh, Johnson here. It is something that all of us recognize. It is happening in our community. We have violence in our community and we're still seeing women and children impacted by violence. It is an opportunity for all of us to look at what community resources we have and how we need to collaboratively work together to end this violence. And just on that note, the Barry Police Service launched with our partners uh, today a national framework on our collaborative response to sexual violence in our community. So this was something that was developed in the city of Barry and it is now with our partners across the province. It's expanded uh, across Canada now. So we have leading practices that speak to trauma-informed investigations, the support uh, that continuously needs to be provided to victims of crime. And that's something that we recognize is so important and we value the work that has been done uh, in our local community so thank you very much for ensuring that when women do come forward and they are reporting violence, either uh, intimate partner violence or other violence that's occurring in their home, they have a place to come. So thank you for that continuous work. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Wood. And uh, be sure to check out uh, some of the news stories on, on the announcement today. It's, it's pretty incredible stuff. Uh, next, we have Andrea Kanjun, MPP for Barry Innisfil. Uh, thank you, thank you. As was mentioned, I'm Andrea Kanjun, your MPP for Barry Innisfil. As the Chief Greenman mentioned this morning, we did uh, have an, an announcement where all the community members came together. Our Provincial Solicitor General was there, uh, MPP Sylvia Jones, and myself and Doug Gowney, uh, where we really saw what happens when communities collaborate, work together, as Teresa was uh, mentioning. But there are some gaps in the system. I know Teresa and I talked about the 
this morning as well and what we can do to, as a community to fix those uh, those gaps. As you know, we're committed to uh, a lot of the victim services, uh, gaps that currently exist in the system. How do we solve them and how do we continue to make sure that funding and that support is there? It's something that Jill Dunlop, our Minister for Children and Women's Issues, is advocating for strongly. Uh, so we, we really want women to know if uh, if they have any doubts or they need the supports that they're there and that they have a government that's behind them and the whole community. Um, but I can't, um, I don't think words will justify what happened to the women 30 years ago. Um, so I thought what would be best today for all of us is maybe take a, a, a brief moment of silence just to think about what those women had to go through and the fact that each and every one of us can walk down the street fairly safely today, but we have to think of those that don't have that same luxury and to fight for, stand up for those women. Everyone. Uh, my name is Andrea. I'm from Member of Parliament John Broussard's office. Uh, John is still in Ottawa tonight. Uh, but we felt that our office must be here to show our support. Uh, I want to say thank you to Teresa and the entire shelter for the work they do here in the community. There are so many cases across not only our community but in the nation that go unreported for violence against women. And the other thing we have to think about is how do we support women and empower women to come forward is one thing. And then how do we have them feel safe and belonging once they come forward and where do they go first? And I think another key concept is to keep women's voices at the table and to keep them always a part of our community. So with that, I would just like to read this scroll that we prepared here at the office for you, Teresa, which reads, Day December the 6th, as the Federal Member of Parliament for Barry Innisfil, John extends his warmest wishes as you raise the flag half mass today for the National Day of Remembrance and Action and Violence Against Women. Today, we raise awareness for women who have been affected by violence. We remember their endurance and their grievance and pledge that we may live in a world where violence no longer exists. May this event serve as a reminder that there is still further work to be done to eliminate violence and raise awareness within our community and best wishes. Thank, so okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. You. And as we continue today and every day, I think, looking into ourselves and the community to keep the, the allyship strong here is another key uh, path forward for us to keep Barry and everywhere around safe for years to come. Thank you. Uh, so with that, uh, I will present this proclamation from Mayor Jeff Lindman uh, to you, and uh, so we will be raising the flag to the top uh, and then lowering it to half the